now observe this model shows two solids one is a cone and other one is a cylinder this cylinder is completely penetrated into the cone as a result of that the curved surface of this cone and cylinder will intersect and we will get a curved line of intersection here the line of intersection is a curve so to get this line of intersection now we will see the cutting plane method cutting plane method means we have to take some number of planes which will cut these two solids now i'll take a plane just touching the just touching the cylinder and cutting the cone first cutting plane is something like this this is the first cutting plane so here as the cutting plane is just touching the cylinder we will get a line as a result of the as a result of after cutting we will get a line here and uh, this top portion of the cone is cutted and removed as a result of that the section is a circle so the intersection points of this circle and this line will give two points here these two points are the first points which will represent the starting of the line of intersection or curve of intersection in this case next i'll go for uh, next cutting plane this is the next cutting plane somewhere here now i'll cut both the solids by using that cutting plane now observe when i'm taking the cutting plane somewhere here the cylinder is cutted as a result of that the section is a rectangle the cone is also cutted as a result of that we will get a circle the intersection points between this circle and this uh, this rectangle will give the reference points the intersection points by using which we can trace the curve of intersection here i am getting one point here i am getting one point here one here one something like that i am getting four points now i'll take another section somewhere here now observe here i am getting another rectangle and the circle radius is increased again i am getting four cutting points next i'll take one more section somewhere here i'll take one more section now observe the rectangle size has decreased now but circle size is increased as a result of that again i'll get four more points my last section is just touching the cylinder when the section plane is just touching the cylinder then we will get a line and we'll as usual we'll get a circle so when a circle and a line are intersected we will get only two points so these are the various points we are getting by taking these cutting sections now observe one by one again i am showing so these are the complete solids when i have again removed all these sections now observe its front view how it will appear in the front view after taking the sections now observe this is the front view so in the front view this will the this is the curve of intersection and this side this is the curve of intersection these are the points what we have obtained just now this is the top view this is the top view so here this portion of the curve of intersection we can see remaining portion will be on the bottom side which is invisible now observe 1 2 3 4 5 points are visible remaining points are invisible now we will see the side view again this is the front view now i'll show the side view this is the side view this is the side view in the side view you can see the true shape of the base of the cylinder now i am showing the isometric view this is the isometric view okay next we will see how to draw this in this problem cone is resting on its base on the horizontal plane so start the problem from drawing the top view of the cone so draw the xy line then draw the top view of the cone that is a circle then from the top view you project the 
front of the cone take the axis length as 100 and uh, base circle diameter is 75 and project the front view after that take a profile plane and draw the side view of the cone now in this side view we can see the true shape of the base of the penetrating cylinder that is horizontal cylinder so draw the true shape of the base of the horizontal cylinder in the top view somewhere here at a distance of 25 mm from the base so th this is the base of the horizontal cylinder now divide this into some number of equal parts now I am dividing this into 8 parts 1 double dash, 2 double dash, 3 double dash, 4 double dash, 5 double dash, 6 double dash, 7 double dash and 8 double dash. Now, what I will do is, by considering these 8 points, I will assume that uh, these two solids are uh, cutted by using 5 cutting planes. Passing through 1, I will take 1 cutting plane. Passing through 2 and 8, I will take the second cutting plane. Passing through 3 and 7, I will take the next cutting plane and 4 and 6 I will take the next cutting plane and passing through 5 I will take the next cutting plane so something like that I can assume that these two solids are cutted by using 5 different cutting planes so after that after uh, assuming these two are cut into 5 different cutting planes now it is time to project the top view and front view of the horizontal cylinder now I am drawing the top view of the horizontal cylinder this is the top view this is the front view these are the assumed 5 cutting planes no project remaining points also now here instead of pro projecting these remaining points to the views what you have to do is uh, first consider the initial uh, first section plane that is section plane 1 section plane 1 is passing through 1 double dash now this is the line which is representing the first cutting plane this first cutting plane is uh, cutting both the solids somewhere here now observe so this is cutting the cone somewhere here when it is cutting the cone you take that point as reference from that point draw a projector to the top view now I have drawn a projector something like this to the top view now you take this center as the center of the circle and this distance as radius draw a circle like this this is the center and up to here as radius draw a circle ok after drawing this circle now you draw a projector from this one double dash something like this and find out the intersection point of uh, this line and this circle so why we have got this line somewhere here means when this section plane is cutting as a result of that we will get a circle of this radius with respect to the cone when this get section plane is just touching the cylinder you will get a line as shown here just before I have shown the 3D model of uh, this also how we are getting these two points so here we will get one point this point you call as P1 similarly we will get another point here I am not giving the name now next I will consider the next cutting plane something like this this cutting plane is uh, intersecting this uh, front view of the cone somewhere here now from here you drop a projector from here you drop projector take this as center up to distance up to this distance as radius draw another circle draw another circle ok now when it is cutting the cylinder you will get a rectangle of of this total length and this 8 to distance as width ok so now from 8 and 2 you draw the projector something like this because we are getting a rectangle in the top view okay when these two projectors are something like this find out the intersection point of these two projectors and 
this circle here I am getting one intersection point here I am going to get another intersection point this is P8 and this is P2 ok now through the next cutting plane draw another locus line this is the next cutting plane I am drawing the another locus line this has intersected somewhere here from here you drop a projector ok now same this point as center up to here as radius draw another circle now from 7 and 3 you have to draw the projectors and from here you, you have to draw the locus lines if you draw that line that line is nothing but uh, this extreme these two extreme generators of the top view so now observe the intersection points of these two generators and this blue color circle somewhere here I am going to get one intersection point here and then intersection point these two are the intersection points this point is P7 this is P3 ok next 4 6 cutting plane now I am going to consider 4 6 cutting plane this is intersected somewhere here I have drawn a projector now this is center up to here as radius draw a circle now you have to find out the intersection points of this circle and rectangle with respect to 4 and 6 so if I draw a projector with respect to 4 and 6 that is nothing but these green color lines so identify the intersection point of this pink color circle and these green color lines those points I will get somewhere here and here ok these are those points this is P6 and this is P4 now I will consider the last cutting plane passing through 5 that is somewhere here now I am drawing a projector I will get a circle like this now identify the intersection point of this circle and this line 5 that is somewhere here this is that point this is P5 now you transfer all these points carefully to the front view this is P1 P1 point is somewhere here on this locus of P1 ok so project this point to that locus line corresponding locus line that is somewhere here so here I will get a P1 point ok this is the locus of 1 somewhere here I will get P1 point ok next P2 and P8 will be on the same projector and that will be somewhere here on the locus of 2 and 8 so here I will get P2 dash comma P8 dash next P3 and P7 passing through P3 and P7 you draw another projector that is somewhere here this is the locus of 3 and 7 automatically here you will get P3 and P7 dash next 4 and 6 projector is something like this this is the locus line this intersection point will give P4 dash comma P6 dash next I am going to project the last point P5 dry projector this is P5 dash now join all these points with a smooth curve that will represent the line of intersection in the front view similarly draw the projectors and obtain the line of intersection in the on the right hand side also now in the top view join all these points with a smooth curve on left hand side and right hand side also but some portion of the curve is not visible ok P1, P2, P3, P8, P7 are visible remaining points are invisible on both the sides here also this portion is invisible this portion is invisible this this portion of the horizontal cylinder is invisible this portion of the horizontal cylinder is invisible so you represent the invisible lines with the dashed lines then the final projection will be something like this